Fans and uh, great to see you down at, uh, at down at well, well, not Romford at East Farrock in, 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 yes. as, as we know as. But uh, I mean, what, what was the journey like coming down? Yeah, a long one. Yeah, a couple of like, two and a half hours. Yeah, good one. Yeah, happy day. So, I mean, traffic okay? Yes, yeah. very good. What, what what are you expecting from today's game though? I mean, what, with Chris's team, I mean, do you follow the team regularly? And yes, um, I do want a good a good result. Maybe get a good result down here so we can take it for next Saturday where we can uh, maybe yeah have a good lead to um, maybe cushion, that. cushion it for yeah. next next week yes so I mean, I mean Connor have you already looked at it and gone dad look you know May the 11th's coming up I want, we need yeah. tickets or have you got your tickets already just on the off chance oh, uh, yes we're looking at them hopefully <laughs> yes <laughs> But yeah, definitely. Have you have you ever been there before? What, Wembley? Yeah. yeah, yeah, quite a few yeah. times. Yeah. yeah, but not to support Lincoln. No, no. What's that going to be like though? If that if they do manage to get it'd be there? special. Yeah, be his, be yeah definitely. Yeah. Very special. Be a day you probably yeah. never forget, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah definitely. Exactly. Yeah. Well, listen, lads. I hope you enjoy the game, and uh, yeah. I suppose from my point of view, let's hope. Uh, hope you, you, you know, well, we yes. just never know what's going to happen. I suppose at the end, the end of the day, two yes. two two legs. 180 minutes away from a, from a Wembley trip, so I wish you all the best. On my last trip. Yeah. <laughs> by Chris and Ben, of course, uh, Romford fans. And guys, I mean, this is a dream come true, isn't it? Semi final DFA bars? Yep, certainly is. Um, so, actually, well, my granddad went to the 1949. FA Amateur Cup final at Wembley, so uh, yeah, fourth, third. My dad took me to Romford back in the seventies, first time, and obviously took my son uh, since I've been over here as well. So uh, a long line of generation of fans of uh, Romford. So I mean, like I spoke to Steve a couple of weeks ago, and of course they're all denying that they know when the final is. But I mean, I take it you know when the final is. Uh, to be honest, we don't know. I know it's May. It's obviously in non-league days. It's May, May the eleventh. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what, what would that be like? As I just asked, you know, the guys from from Lincoln, what would that be like? Oh, be you know, to, I mean, to actually get born, to get there. Born I was born and bred in Rockford. Yeah. Um, I was born in Rockford, went to school in Rockford. So uh, yeah, for a hometown club to be at Wembley would be, uh, would be great. And what's, what do you feel has been the difference this year? You know, I mean, this year it's, it's always been like a, you know, Rob's always been close to my heart. I'll be honest, and it's but it's always been like a, a rags to riches type thing, isn't it? It's yeah. always been yeah. sort of like, yeah. you know, the, the, the teams always sort of seem to struggle, and you know, and um, the money, you know, no paying other players. But all of a sudden, you know, Dan's come in and. The luck seems to have turned around massively, doesn't it? And the yeah, it certainly does. Yeah. Massive improvement. Um, I mean, I was I started coming again in '92 when they reformed, so um, I saw the saw of Windsor Senior League back in the mid '90s. Um, obviously, went up and then got relegated again a couple of years ago. Mm. Um, it's been a struggle since then, yeah, without a doubt. But yeah, it seems I think moving here as well is going to help. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've got a own ground sort of thing where I haven't had for the last 20, 30 odd years. So uh, yeah, it's been. It's been good. I think team, team, you know, see that everyone gets on with each other here. It's like a family, proper family club, I think. Will you be going next week? Or, uh, will, that, or will that depend no, on what the result is today? No, unfortunately, <laughs> no, we probably won't be going next week. No. Um, so we've also got some tickets at South End United, right. so uh, we kind of... We swap, alternate, don't we? Alternate, between yeah, whenever we South End are away, uh, we'll try and get here. Come here, so, no. uh, yeah, but yeah, we won't be there next week, unfortunately. It's a fairy tale, really, isn't it? Yeah. To, to think like how the club's been the last few years. I mean, my dad's told yeah. me about all the hardship they've gone through, and it's like 
it's coming back together like all the pieces of the jigsaw are now connecting and you know there could be a big day out in memory yeah. coming next month which I, I think that'd be amazing for the whole community club fans and even for me it's you know fourth generation now coming even though south End's club i've had a season ticket at for about 10 years now but but watching this club as well it's almost like i've got two clubs and they say you shouldn't have two clubs but but for me i feel like i do yeah and it's a mate like i said it's amazing watching this turnaround and hearing them hearing about it seeing the scores come in and yes yeah, just amazing really well listen guys we wish you all the best today and uh and of course, all the best, of course, for the club next week as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, hopefully we'll see you at Wembley. Okay. Yeah, lovely. Thank, Thank you. We're joined by uh, Lincoln United manager, of course, uh, Chris. And Chris, I mean, uh, long journey down and, and all the rest of it. But the excitement on the coach down must have been quite high, I would have thought. Yeah, we've brought three coaches down and we know people have come down by train or driven themselves. So naturally, it's very it's, yeah, unusual for Lincoln United to, to take three, four coach loads away. And that's what the Vars has done, yeah. um, encapsulated people. So... Yeah, we're, we're excited, obviously, to get to a national semi-final where there's 500 odd teams starting you down to Final Four. Where the competition resides and finishes is obviously an unbelievable opportunity. Um, but yeah, we're focused on enjoying the occasion and obviously we've got this week and, and, and next week as well. I mean, you're, we've seen the other semi-final, of course, today being called off already because of pitches, but the pitch looks in pretty good condition out here as well. Yeah, it's dry. Uh, it's dry, got plenty of grass on it. Um, so, yeah, we'll... Um, it's it, it's the sort of pitch that we've we've sort of played on probably week in week out at the level that we play at. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll play our game and hopefully get some positive result come five o'clock. Are we all, all nice and fit as well? We've got any any injury worries from from the? I know you had a game midweek because when of course when we spoke to Matt, he said you got a game midweek. I know yeah. Romford had the same, but I mean he's still one hundred percent. Yeah, no injury worries. Um, the only one that we don't have with us today uh, is, is Sean Wright. Uh, but everyone else, we've got full full squad uh, available to pick from. So, what's it like for yourself, being you know manager, and take it from your point of view, I suppose, to to actually to be in a national semi final? I mean, you see, I assume it's the first one you, you've, you've uh, yeah. managed in, and you must be extremely proud to you know to take Lincoln to to this semi final. And as everybody keeps telling him, and Matt didn't want to know the date, but of course, May eleventh is round the corner, mm. and under eighty minutes away from that. I mean, what would that be like for you guys? Yeah, when you get to the, when you get to this stage, it's it's impossible to think about. It's impossible not to think about, should I say? Um, you know, when you're at quarterfinals or the round before that, you, you don't want to think about that because you want to get you want to play the game, and that's what we'll do. We'll play the game over the two legs, but uh, it's impossible not to think about it. Obviously, naturally, very very proud. We're second in the league, confirmed playoffs. Um, Won the county cup, win the league cup semi final as well. You know, after the second leg, we've also got a national semi final today. So we've had a great season. The players have been absolutely tremendous. I think this is our fifty third game this season. Wow. So we've done unbelievably well, um, considering they're, they're part time and everyone's got jobs and the rest of it and families. So yeah, very very proud, uh, and we'll just do everything that we can to to you know give a good account of ourselves over the next two two games. Yeah. Well, thanks, Chris. We we'll appreciate it and hopefully speak to you afterwards. No problem. Thank you. Now joined by Dan, of course, manager of Oldford. And Dan, the big days arrived. Yeah, yeah, absolute buzz. As you can see, grounds more than we've ever got in here at three o'clock from, from one o'clock today. <laughs> so you can tell it's a big game. Boys are up for it. The buzz is good. The dressing room is good. So looking forward to it. Yeah. Obviously, we're all a little bit nervous, but it's one of them games. It's what you, this is what you do it for. This is what you set your season out for to have a day like this. Mm -hmm see what the outcome is in two weeks time basically a good win as well during the week as well yeah it was a good win we obviously rested a few because because of, of today but again they don't let me down it seems like everyone we put out in this, this squad keeps doing their job we've had to make a few changes today defensively i'm confident in the boys that are coming in they've done well for us all season so yeah ready to go now is that is that a few injuries or is that just your choice it's actually no it's actually holidays to be honest with you the easter, easter yeah. breakers they've booked a couple are in america yeah. which they've booked from 18 months ago obviously not expecting us to get to the semi-final <laughs> i suppose but we're here now and i uh, couldn't get them to cancel it so but they're all back for the second leg so a little bit depleted today but we'll get through today and uh and be full strength next week what's it like in the dressing room though you can see them warming up over there and there's absolutely buzzing at the yeah end. the buzz has been all week on the phone on the groups on the chats in the dressing room even the, the little rondo they're doing now it's just that little bit of extra buzz about the, about the whole place to be honest with you as you can tell yourself how do, how do you how do you really get taken back in the dressing room in a minute i mean how, how do you sort of try and calm the nerves and to sort of calm them down I'm trying to just say you know keep our heads play what we've done all season stick to what we've been doing don't come away from don't change nothing and hopefully that'll be enough mm -hmm. you know it's been good for us all season it's worked so far so we're not going to change nothing just try and keep the heads obviously we're going to be slightly nervous but so are they yeah. you know so will lincoln it's a big game for them as well just try and enjoy the day yeah. try and enjoy, enjoy the weekend enjoy the game afterwards but you're quite confident going into it though 
I'm confident in the group I've got. Yeah. I don't know what I'm up against, yeah. but I can't put these boys out against anyone. Yeah. And I'll stand like that. So hopefully the result will go for us. Well, Magic, Dan, we wish you all the very best today and speak to you afterwards. <laughs>
They think it's all over. Maybe not. <laughs> Well, we joy by course Steve after the game. I mean, what a, what a game! I mean, you've got to start straight away. I mean, I've never seen a game quite like that. Tipped out the ten men after well, after what three or four minutes, and then a well, a disputable penalty, shall we say? And yeah. to come back with ten men, and twice to come back with ten men with two unbelievable goals as well. You've got to be such a proud chairman tonight. I'm very proud. But what an incredible game! And as I say, obviously a lot of the people that were here today were neutrals, and they've seen an absolutely fantastic game. But as you say, you know, Chris Newby put in a robust tackle in the first sort of four or five minutes and uh, most people are thinking maybe it's a yellow or well, the referee looked like he was speaking to him and all of a sudden he gets a red. And then Darren Phillips looked as if he'd gone shoulder to shoulder with their defender, fairly innocuous, and they get a penalty. So again, to be honest, you're fearing the worst. You know, how are we going to stack up? And second half, you know, I just thought we were magnificent. Brought it back, they went ahead again and we came back. So there's all to play yeah. for. But without standing too sort of arrogant, I fancy our chances with this squad of players and the belief they've got at the moment. I feel we can go up there and get a result. Well, it just looked to me like all the time we were sitting over there. Somebody was talking to me in the back, and they were saying to me, "This is incredible! This is incredible! We can see us scoring a winner here." And then, of course, they got one. They got one and went in front, and then. The equaliser right at the end there was absolutely, you know, just incredible. The atmosphere yeah, here was amazing. Yeah, yeah, and it's fantastic. I mean, that's what non-league's all about, David, and you know. And it's not often that we get crowds like this. And most clubs at our level are playing in front of 100 and 150. And I don't know what the final count is, but there are hundreds here today. A lot of neutrals, obviously, a lot of people cheering for Romford. And it was just absolutely magnificent. And I say you can't take anything away from... Dan and the boys, you know, they've set themselves up, they've dusted themselves off because it would have been so easy, uh, sort of one nil down, down ten players to sort of either give up or, or you know, to be beaten sort of two, three, four nil, and then you really have got a journey. Yeah. But you know, two all now, we're going to the second leg, and it's all equal. Well, somebody said to me, you know, they look more tired than what we, you know, what you did, really. I mean. You know, especially in that first part, of this, especially when you got the equaliser, they did look very tired all of a sudden. Yeah, I noticed we didn't do a warm down the day. They sort of crawled straight into the changing rooms. But absolutely magnificent. You know, the Lincoln supporters turned up, yeah. fair play to them. There was about 150 of them turned up and they made some noise as well. And our supporters made some noise. And hopefully that made a difference and it really has lifted the... Uh, has lifted the club and what have you. Do you know how many? Do you know how many you've got to go to the for the away leg and support? Uh, we're hoping to take somewhere in the region of a hundred plus. Right. We don't know yet. We've got a coach game. A lot of people are going up on Friday night and staying and what have you. So yeah, yeah, it'll be fantastic. Well, listen, I know you want to get back to everybody else and celebrate. Yeah. But what a fantastic, yeah, fantastic, fantastic. Oh, brilliant massive game. congratulations. Yeah, I and mean, I think everyone who was over it today enjoyed it. Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. Thanks. So of course we're joined by Dan again after the game and. Uh, a big smile on his face for his what a performance by your side. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't smiling after eight minutes, I can assure you. But as the game's finished, got to be proud of the boys again. Another great performance up against it after ten minutes. 
man down, send it, uh, penalty, done down. All like could have gone, we could have give up and, and you know, give in a little bit, but we don't. The boys rolled their sleeves up, they have done all season, and now we look forward to going there and hopefully finishing the game with 11 mm -hmm. and, having a, and having a level game with them, to be honest with you. Really pleased with the performance, pleased with the result. They're looking forward to next week. But you must have been dreading the worst down to 10, and then they get a, a shall we say, a conscientious penalty, shall we say? Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to question that at the moment. I'd like we'd watch it back on the video. I can't really see too much of where I am from. But yeah, at the time, you've planned all for the last two or three weeks for something, and it, after eight minutes, it's all up in the air. But what I've got in there is a good group of boys who will keep themselves organised, be resilient, stay in games, and that's what we've done. And we'll always score goals to the other end. We have done all season. so. Couldn't ask for any, any more of them, to be honest with you. Yeah. Well, was you, you looked absolutely desolate when they went 2 1 up, I'll be honest there, because we were all sitting there thinking that you were going to go 2 1 up. I thought it was, uh, we, we, we looked offside from where we was, we were adamant the flag was going to go, and when it didn't, it was a, uh, an absolute gut nut. But again, the boys are resilient, won't give in, keep going back, keep going again, and we get one late at the end. And probably what we deserve on the day, we definitely deserve on the day, to be honest with you. Yeah. It just felt like people from behind the back of us were just literally saying, like, you know, you look like a fitter side going into that game, even though he was a 10 men, it looked like they were down to 10 men, you know, in, for most of that game. But it was uh, just, just, they just kept going and going and going. Yeah, I mean, it can be our plan against 10 as well because we become resilient. We, we have, you get that extra 5% out of people, which we had to to cover them. And, uh, yeah, they didn't look like a break us down, to be honest with you. They balls in the box, that suits us, bread and butter for us, to be honest with you. Go and down and eat them up all day long. So yeah, I thought their boys were excellent, good attitude, which we have had all season. That's why we're here in this competition still, to be honest with you. And we'll go again next week with the same attitude. We look forward to it. Mm. I mean, what's, what was the reaction of the players? I know mean, you've been in the dressing room uh, briefly. I mean, they must be absolutely buzzing. Yeah, I mean, we're not taking too much on it. It's only halfway now, and, it, and, it's, and it, we're only drawn two to at home. But looking at the consideration, what went against us from the first minute, we got to be proud of what we've achieved today. Hopefully we go up there next week. Things don't go against us. We have a level playing field and we'll see how we come out. Um, on our day, I think we'll, we'll, we'll go out winners, to be honest with you. But, you know, another week, anything can happen, can't it? It's football. And you've got, um, it's got to be one sort of shout out for the fans as well. I mean, there was brilliant. just unbelievable. Brilliant. Sports the atmosphere brilliant. was just incredible. Support's been brilliant all season. Today's an absolute buzz here just for the club, for everyone. Even if you turn up here at 12 o'clock this afternoon, there's more people in than we normally have at 3 o'clock, to be honest. So, yeah, it's been a great day. The boys loved it. We, even us walking out with all them people there, it's what you want to do in football. It's what you do it for, to be honest with you. And that's both sets of fans as well, because there's a lot of, quite a lot of Lincoln fans here brilliant. as well. Yeah, and yeah, the atmosphere following. was brilliant. And I think we'll take a few up there next week as well. So. They'll all enjoy it. We're going away, we're going up Friday. Boys will have a, you know, a little bit of a get together Friday night just to get the bus going. And hopefully we can all have a get together at Wembley on Monday 11th or 12th, whenever it may be. We'll keep the alcohol away from them. The there won't be no alcohol Friday night, I can assure you of that. Me and my assistant might be allowed one or two. <laughs> Well, listen, Dad, we'll let you, because it's, it's buzzing in there, I can hear it. So we'll let you get back to everything. It's more, more important you get back to all the people in your club. And thank a you. massive thank you and massive congratulations. Thanks, Sean. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it.